distance time graphs how to draw them let us consider a body starting from rest this table describes the motion of the body that is it describes the distance covered by the body as time passes the first thing to be done when drawing a graph is to decide on which quantity is to be plotted on which axis. Here, the graph is between distance and time. Now, you would notice that the distance of a body from the origin increases as time increases. So the distance depends on the time and therefore distance is the dependent variable and time the independent variable. Therefore, we will plot distance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Our next focus should be on deciding on the scale. Now, after drawing the axis, we have 33 divisions left on the x-axis and 17 divisions on the y-axis. And if you look at the time, we have 26 seconds to be plotted on 33 divisions here available and 13 meters to be plotted against 17 divisions available. So if we take one division on the x-axis representing one second and one small division on the y-axis representing one meter, then we should be fine. Let's try that. So here are the divisions, but we are of course plotting every two seconds just to make the graph less cluttered. And the same way we plot the y-axis and now put in the values. 0, 2, 4, 6 seconds, 8 seconds, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and 26, up to 30. And then similarly, put down the values of those divisions on the distance axis. Now the next thing is, it is very important that you actually write down the scale that you have taken to plot this graph. It is mandatory that you mention the scale. Another student may be having a different scale and yet both of you are talking about the same motion and therefore to be able to retrieve the correct information from your graph, the scale must be mentioned. Next, we are to plot the points. How do we plot points? Now look at this. When time was zero, the distance moved by the body was also zero. So we plot a point zero zero that is zero on the x-axis as well as zero on the y-axis that point is going to be this our next point is two one that is when time is two seconds that is here distance covered is one meter that is here so our next point should be here and then when time is four seconds the distance covered is two meters so our point should be here. There you are. And then at time 6 seconds, distance covered is 3 meters. And when time is 8 seconds, distance covered is 4 meters. And at 10 seconds, it is 5 meters and so on. We plot these points exactly at the intersections of the x-coordinate and y-coordinate and then join these lines to get our graph. That is how we draw a distance time graph.